Hey guys, welcome on in. My name is Dan C. Bearded. We'll be joined by my amazing wife, Sam C., in a little bit. They call her the super sniffer, the female perspective, giving us a look from the other side. And today we'll be reviewing a company that is new to me and is called Alf Mail. Alf Mail. And I'll get into the information about this company on the next segment, but I do think it's important to start out and grab your guys' attention to talk about how important the message of this company is and how much I love it and how much it aligns with this channel and what we're trying to do with our family. And that is it is going against the idea of an alpha male. They are saying they want guys to be positive. They want guys to be good. They want guys to be caring and help others and help the world. And I love that. They don't think that companies should be advertising beard products as getting chicks and being this dominant man that's going to just, you know, own everything. And we've seen companies go with that method, almost completely insinuating on their Instagram page, if you grow this beard and use our products, you'll get all these hot girls. I really despise that as an educator, as a father, as someone that pushes positive vibes. I love what this company stands for. So that's first and foremost. But we'll get into all that on the company one there. So please check out my family and positivity with this intro and then we'll get into this company. Company, a little bit of information about the ALF Mail Company. First off, their owner's name is A Ton, like a ton of fun, which is just an amazing line to be able to explain your name to people. Well, he is born and raised in the United States. He had two Jewish parents, but it was a trip to Israel that really changed his world. And that's where he said he found the spirituality side of his Jewish religion and really wanted to go all in. And a part of that was growing a beard. And he could tell you story after story and connection after connection of the beard and the Jewish religion. If that's something you're interested in, I highly recommend you guys reach out to him. He is big on the product, right? The quality of his product, the brand, which is Elf Mail. We'll get to that in a minute here. But also the brand's message or the culture of the brand. And for him, that is a Jewish religion based in spreading Judaism and some of the spirituality there. So if that is something you're interested in, check out his Facebook page, check out his website. But he really prides himself on being accessible and active on Instagram. I know he would welcome that conversation and really look to, to talk and spread the spirituality if that's something you're looking for. But he went all in with this and he is now living in Israel. He got married last year, which he said was also life-changing and an amazing blessing for him. And he left his previous job. He is full-time in Elf Mail. This is what he does. And a big part of their company is having locally sourced ingredients in Israel, what he considers the Holy Land. His number one ingredient in the beard oil is organic almond oil. He said it is, says it is picked and pressed in Israel. Also in his balms, his waxes, he says that he has been to the bee farm where they are making the bees wax, and he has seen that in process from the local environment, which is really important for wax. That is really cool, and that was a part of his goal, was to take some products from, again, what he considers the Holy Land, and spreading that out to the United States and the rest of the world. Another really cool point is he has a distribution center in the U.S., so he'll make what he says are called micro batches from 30 to 80, and he will send those oils and balms to his distribution center. So it really helps you guys out. The shipping cost is lowered, the custom cost is lowered, and the shipping time turnaround is much better. If you were to order this from Israel, it would take a lot longer to get here. But since he is making those micro batches to the United States, he says his turnaround time is usually a week or less, and that is pretty awesome. So that's the product, that's the culture. Now the actual brand, the Elf Mail. Really cool idea here. It is going against the idea that we see in marketing and mainstream media of the alpha dog. That a man is supposed to be a success story and that a woman is a sex symbol. If you use these beard products, you will get a girl. Right? That is one of the lowest ways of marketing. He wants to go against that completely and says, how about you be a good person? How about you help others? How about you just make the world a better place? I love that. As a teacher, I try to instill that with my students. As a father, I try to instill that with my kids, with my wife. It is a huge part of my life, whether it is religious or not. I think just making the world a better place and being good people is huge. Rather than just thinking about muscles and tattoos and getting chicks, 
I really commend them because he goes about it in a great way that is not putting down other companies, just simply promoting the good message from himself. That is huge to me, huge. And again, I think we can all agree on that, whether we are of a different religion, whether we are not religious at all. If you focus on yourself being a better person, that is really going to help overall this world we live in. And that is beautiful to me. And I really, really mean that. I put a lot of work into trying and make myself the best possible person, getting rid of negativity, getting rid of insecurities, all that type of stuff. Just overall being a good person and role model. That's important to me. So huge props to the elf male for that message and journey that they're on and using some pretty kick butt beard products in the meantime. Price. I like to rate every company based on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating. And this was a tough one. They were a tweener between two different price ratings. I am gonna give the elf male a two dollar sign price rating flirting with the one. And I'll hit you with the prices and then the rationale there. A two ounce bottle of beard oil goes for $20 US dollars. Same for a two ounce tin of beard balm, $20. So we know market standard is at about $15 for a one ounce bottle of beard oil. Well, when you get to the bigger ounces, right, this is $20, $20 for two ounces, so you're going down to 10, but the price is a little bit less generally once you move up to a two ounce. So they were close to the one, but I would say for a two ounce container, they're on the better side of a $2 sign price rating. You can get four ounces of product for $40. Pretty good deal. And this company monthly donates 10% of their profits to charity. Pretty cool there to know some of your money is going out in the world to help other people. Gentlemen, I've brought in, and any ladies out there don't want to be rude, so yeah. <laughs> excuse me. We have tons of wonderful ladies that watch the channel. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've brought in my amazing wife, Sam C. Hi. And Sam, to you, I say shalom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what shalom means? Is it like greetings? It is. Essentially, yeah. it's hello, goodbye, and peace okay. in Hebrew. Okay. And... Where do you know Shalom from, mainly? Pitch Perfect? Pitch Perfect. It's, <laughs> That's it's a so good bad. Line. Yeah, it's a funny line in a movie we like there. Uh, but yes, this company is out of Israel. Okay. And they have cool. a faith-based backing for the Jewish religion. And so that's how they started a letter to me was with Shalom and then explaining uh, what its meaning is. Mm -hmm. And uh, essentially the owner's from the U.S., found his, his faith and his roots and spirituality uh -huh. in Judaism and moved to Israel, um, but has a distribution center in the U.S., so he makes all the products in Israel, has them sourced from locally made um, ingredients, makes it, sends it to the U.S. so people from the U.S. can buy it with quick turnaround. So That's not cool. Shipping. Yeah, super That's smart. Awesome. So you don't have to do with, deal with like customs and yeah. all that type of stuff. That's so annoying. that is the, the shalom for us there. We have four scents that we're going to talk about today. Get the female perspective from Sam. I have one in beard today. Have you smelled it at all or no? No, but remember? I haven't been paying attention, so. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, we will go over the first scent. I believe I have it lined up. Uh, yes, this is the one that I have in beard today. We'll have Sam smell it, see what she thinks of it, and then we'll see if she can smell it in beard. We are, what time is it right now? Like 3 o'clock? Yeah. 3 o'clock. I probably got, so we're probably... Seven hours in, I okay. would say seven hours in. Okay, so the first one, and this is, and I'm going to try my best on the spelling here. This is pronounced, what would you say there? Sakat? Sakat, yeah. Sakat, S-U-K-K-O-T, Sakat beard oil. So give your first okay. smell and impressions, and then I'll tell you what is in it, and we'll kind of go from there. All right. What you got? I think she'll do well on this one, actually. Is it like uh Tea tree eucalyptus sort of thing? Oh, interesting. I thought for sure you would get the main ingredient. Lemongrass? In there we go. Lemongrass. Okay. All right. She I was, knew it was one of those. She was slapping I'm off that. I've game lately. <laughs> Lemongrass. Lemongrass. All right. So let me read it here. So the ingredients in this one would be lemon, lemongrass, myrtle, and mint. Mm, okay. Myrtle. I like so that. this is what I have. What, what is your thoughts on the scent here? I like it. I'm a fan of lemongrass. This one is 
It's not like a punch in your face. I agree. And I like that. Yes. Did you wear this the other day when you mowed the lawn? I did. I did wear this the other day. So <laughs> one of the reasons why I'm really digging this, I've had like ups and downs with lemongrass, lemon type smells, mm -hmm. but I'm really liking it right now. And I don't know if it's subconsciously because in Michigan we have the triple E virus, mm -hmm. which is carried by mosquitoes. It kills about one third of people that are infected with it. We have had like four deaths in Michigan and in our county alone, uh, just a couple miles down the road, a deer died with it and several animals. So when I mowed the lawn, I was like, I need a natural mosquito repellent mm -hmm. and I hate bug spray with a passion. Oh, he would literally, oh. he would rather get this infection. Oh, I hate than bug spray. Bug so spray. lemongrass is a natural mosquito mm -hmm. repellent. And so I did put this in when I mowed the lawn the other day. And it was just found to be as effective as DEET, as DEET yes. which is crazy. Yes. DEET, and that's this amazing. crazy chemical. Right. And this is as effective. Yeah. And I did not get bit by any mosquitoes, so it worked. So I do have it in. I wore it the other day. I have it in again now. We always, or we, I always thoroughly <laughs> test these before we make a video on it. You guys can rest assured there. All right, smell the beard. Do you smell anything in beard? I smell something, but I think it may be like a shampoo or something else. Interesting. Okay. All right. I did wash my beard this morning, so okay. that could be. Uh, for whatever reason, scents do not really project from my beard like you don't really smell it on my beard ever no, you smell it in the shot or the yeah, bathroom yeah. you'll smell it um in situations like that where unless it's a very very strong yeah oil and so i don't know how some of you are leave a comment down below does your beard project smells because i know some people are like oh the bank teller said i smelled great and i'm like that's never happened my to me. My hair picks up smells. Like yeah. when we go eat Mexican, I smell like Mexican. Definitely. And mine days. doesn't as much. Okay. So that's the first one. I really like it. That's my second favorite. I love those natural type smells that, that we have in there. All right. The next one, I picked the two hardest names to go first here. Uh, and I've even practiced these. I've even talked to the <laughs> owner. The owner's tried to help me with some of these Hebrew words. And uh, Havdala, I apologize for getting that wrong. Is that how you would say it? Havdala? Yeah. All right. So I, I, again, I know that's off, but I can admit that. But that's how <laughs> that's how I'm going with it here. All right. So see what you think about this one. Two Ooh. main ingredients. You almost punched me in sorry, the face. Sorry. 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 <laughs> not intentional. We do not condone violence. Ooh. This is Christmas time. Straight up. Straight up mm. in the holiday season. They would not say Christmas. Right? Being of the Jewish yes, holiday, true. even though you just said Christmas time. How insensitive. <laughs> uh, but this definitely has that winter, that uh, supply store, Michaels type yeah. thing that has it. But it's, it's like classier. Yeah. I've smelled some beard oils that smell like those craft stores mm -hmm. when you walk in and the clove hits you and you gag a little bit. But this is like... It's not so in your face, just like the lemongrass, and yeah. I really like that. Yep, and that's good, because those are very, uh, let's just say, kind of pungent ingredients, yeah. and to be able to mellow them down a little bit mm -hmm. is really valuable. Yeah. So it is clove, and then there, what's the other main scent in here? Could you pick that up? Um, it's another spice. Like a cinnamon? It is. Okay. Clove and cinnamon. Clove they and cinnamon. They go hand in hand. So this one I would like for like an oil diffuser. I'm just not a personal fan of the scent profile. Mm -hmm. Everybody that knows the channel knows I do not like clove, but I respect the clove game and I know a lot of yeah. you really like it. As Sam said, this is a really nice kind of mellowed out clove. Yeah, I it, feel like you have, you have to be subtle when you have I there. agree. I agree. So one of the better clove scents that we have tried and smelled. So good. All right. Next one here uh, is uh, King's Blessing. King's Blessing. So great, great pronunciation. Got, thank you. Got that one down. I do teach about Judaism as well as the other major religions in the world. We know King David is a major figure in the Jewish religion, and this is called King's Blessing. Okay. Is this one like a tea tree? Uh, let me read it to you. All right. Hit it one more time. All right. Okay, it's it's very menthol. Okay, so what we have here is jasmine and sage. Jasmine and sage. sage. Is sage the main smell of like Vicks? I don't think so, but I don't know. It's so, very Vicks-like. So I don't get that as much here. Really? I get I, more of an earthy incense with a little bit of that kind of nasal clearing so I really like put this on my side of the closet because I really like that Especially, interesting Jax woke up with the stuffy nose today so I feel like I should just 
rub that. Put that on his chest yeah. or his feet when people put socks yeah. on and stuff. Uh, so I for like me, it. this is the, the third on the list. The the last one, the clove and cinnamon, is my least favorite out of the four. This is number three for okay. me. So it's uh, it definitely is not bad by any means. I think it has a good place. Um, it's just a little bit on the earthy side for me, but Sam likes I it. I don't get the earthiness. That is my number one. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Over the lemongrass. And yep. That? Interesting. Not for me. Yep. And then this last one is my favorite one, and this is Boker Tove, which if I remember correctly... Uh, means good morning or in response to good morning. They have okay. a saying in Hebrew where they say uh, boker tov and then they respond with something else as just like a, a good quick little greeting when you see someone you don't know or if you do yeah. just a, I, I compared it to like sports teams like Michigan State and our state they say go green go white and it's just kind of automatic so this <laughs> is a good morning type greeting here. Okay. So see what you think about the scent. This is my favorite. I really enjoy this one. It was the first one I've worn, and it's the one I've worn the most scents uh, because I like it. Okay. What you got? And for me, it is the lightest one. I don't know if that makes any difference for anybody. It but is I'm... light. It's like an, an invigorating, mm -hmm. light, And I, I good like those scent. light, good, long-lasting scents here. And so what we have on Boker Tove is uh, lavender, cedar, and bergamot. Okay. So two of my favorites, bergamot's my favorite citrus scent, lavender is so calming, so beautiful, uh, especially when I'm in school and teaching and I have coaching, I like these calming scents, they just kind of relax me. I almost get a little bit of like a tea tree I do too. eucalyptus in I there do too. as well. Yeah, something comes together with those yeah. and it gives you that clean but also relaxing type mm -hmm. scent. I love it. Uh, you guys know if you watch my Instagram, you watch my channels, I'm always looking for that that clean, that beautiful, relaxing, calming mm -hmm. scent. I can wear this at night, which is a huge bonus because yeah. it can help me sleep. I approve Yes, the nighttime. And that's the big, <laughs> biggest thing you guys saw from last week, my top five, or not top five, just my top night scents in general. Mm -hmm. This one would be right in that mix because it is so nice and calming, relaxing. This is my favorite one. I could wear this on any occasion, teaching, coaching, going out, going to bed. That's really valuable for me, especially what I like about these ones is those nice two ounce bottles. Yeah. So that's going to last you uh, a long way there. And then bombs, we'll just check one of them here and see what Sam thinks if it uh, matches the smell. Let me find the, the same one that we just had there. What was that? That was uh, Boker Tub. Okay. So bomb, same strength, different strength, different scent. Same, same. Yes, I agree. It yeah. is spot on, same scent, same strength. Mm -hmm. It does really, really well. So in a quick thing too, and I've explained this on the video already, uh, but their name is uh, Alf Male, which okay. is the first letter in the Hebrew alphabet. And it is going against the alpha male, right? They have in the beard game, so many companies have grow a beard and you'll get chicks and yeah. have muscles and tattoos and you're the man. And they're like, no, how about you be nice and kind to people I and like grow that. a beard. And so that is their, their play on that is we don't want to be the top dog. We just want to be a good person. I really like that. I agree. If anybody like knows me, I agree. I agree. Uh, I had a really awesome conversation with the owner. He got done. He was like, man, you're amazing. I was like, dude, you're amazing. Thank you. Like, I appreciate that. Bro's like, life. yeah, seriously cool guy, just awesome vibes all around. And he's big into uh, spirituality. He's not trying to, to make you convert your religion or anything. He just wants you to think about what it means to be a man, what it means to like take care of your beard in the right ways, all that type of stuff. Yeah. So awesome. Cool. So Sam C approved, I think on a yes. very good level. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you for helping us out, giving the people the female perspective and just overall a different view on the sense in the company. Overall awesomeness. It's true. People really value that. They're like, Sam's your secret weapon. I'm like, it ain't no secret. I know, <laughs> I know how good she is there. So, all right. Once again, thank you, Sam You're C. You're welcome. Feel in beard. The ever important segment that goes over how do these products feel in my beard? What are the ingredients like? How does my beard style? All of that information. First, I'll go over the ingredients. The beard oil ingredients are pretty simple. The first most potent ingredient is organic almond oil. The second most ingredient in here would be olive oil, then vitamin E, and then pure essential oils. The owner said he has gone back and forth. He knows the benefits of fragrance oils. He knows the benefits of essential oils. 
but he wants to keep it as natural and as close to nature as possible. So he has pure essential oils and he likes that therapeutic style of essential oils that are going to help you with that breathing, help you just kind of calm down. Amazing quality with those essential oils that he has come up with. Now the balm, we have coconut oil, shea butter, beeswax, olive oil, vitamin E, and then once again, only pure essential oils. So the feel and beard guys, top notch. When you're using quality organic and natural ingredients like that, it's really hard not to. And that's something he takes pride in, especially where they're coming from. Really, really good quality. Now the oil is about a medium consistency and styles extremely well. I have this in beard today. I only have oil in and it gives you enough body where it's not going to be flying away, but it's not too heavy where your beard's going to be clumped together. It's a really nice middle ground with about 60% almond oil and 40% olive oil in there. Really nice mix. Olive oil is not an ingredient we see super common, especially at that level of potency, but my beard personally really enjoys it. If you have any experience with olive oil, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. Our colors here, we have a slight yellow coloration to this. It's not the darkest I've seen, but I still yet have not seen an actual case where someone has shown, yes, these darker oils really change the color of my gray or white beard. I know people have talked about it or worried about it, but I haven't seen it. If you have, let me know. If you know for a fact these oils have changed the color of your beard, I would love to hear about it. Obviously, I don't have that ability yet. One day I will, I promise, but yet. Now the balm. Our balm is a really nice medium consistency here. I'll get some out for you guys. And it has, again, just kind of a straight up medium consistency. You get that uh, feel here. I don't get a ton of wax in the balm, which is preference from me. You just get a really nice consistency that's gonna put that little outer layer on your beard and give a nice hold to the flyaways, keep everything in check, but at the same time with great ingredients, it's gonna nourish your beard. So for feeling beard, no negatives whatsoever. And I would be interested if you have tried olive oil in any potency level, especially close to this and how you like it, I got a feeling your beard would really like that ingredient. So feeling beard, absolutely positive for this company. Rebuy, an extremely important segment here. The biggest question, would I recommend these products for you guys? Would I acquire any of them again? Would I like to try anything new from this company? I definitely recommend this company to you guys. First off, I think their message is phenomenal and we need more of that. We need more positivity. We need more focus on guys just being good and helping the world rather than just something being a success symbol and something that we're striving after uh, with what we see a lot on marketing, especially on things like Instagram, unfortunately, and even in big beard companies, some that I definitely do not recommend to you guys. This one, however, highly recommend to you. I would love to try new products from this company. I have two scents that are absolute keepers. The other two Sam likes and will have situational use, but I definitely will continue to support this company, continue to use their products. My beard looks real good, feels good. That's important to me. Question to leave you guys with, one of the messages or themes that this company has in their owner is that they wanted to make these products accessible for you guys by price and give you the best deal possible. $20 for a two ounce bottle of oil comes down to $10 an ounce. That's a really good deal. Now, my question is, two ounce bottle or one ounce bottle? Which do you prefer and why? Do you like the two ounce because it's usually a better deal with more products, save time on shipping, money on shipping? Or do you like one ounce because you're worried about wasting the two ounce or whatever the case may be? I wanna hear all of your well thought out, mature perspectives on the debate between a one ounce bottle of beard oil and a two ounce bottle of beard oil. Hey, maybe it'll help a company out there, but it's definitely give me some things to think about as I look at these companies and oftentimes give them advice and try to help them out. I really don't know which way you guys are gonna go with this, but let me know down below, one ounce bottle, two ounce bottle, and any thoughts on this company, especially positive ones to go along with their message. All right, guys, Dancy Bearded, stay bearded, and as always, as this company would agree with, stay positive.